Have you ever been confused about those extra codes you're sometimes asked to type in after your password? You're not alone. Last week, my mom called me because a bank asked for something extra, called two-factor, and she thought she was being scammed. Here's the thing. Those extra codes is like having both your passport and your boarding pass at the airport. You need both of them to get to airport security. One of them won't work. And today, I'm going to explain exactly what it is, why you need it, and how to set it up. No tech degree really required. Let's jump right in. Hi, everyone. My name is Tracy Anifuna, and I'm a cybersecurity consultant. On this channel, we make online security simple for everyone. If you're just joining us for the first time, welcome. Thank you for joining us. By the end of this video, you will understand what two-factor authentication actually is and how to set it up on your most important accounts. As you watch this video, we encourage you to take action now and enable two-factor authentication on all important accounts, banks, credit cards, social media, email, etc. Now, let me explain what two-factor authentication is using something that we all understand, like your debit card. When you want to withdraw money in your bank, you need exactly two things, your ATM card and your PIN code. When you set the ATM card, that is like your password, and then next to your ask for your PIN code, you put in the PIN code, that is like your two-factor authentication code which you get. You need both of them in order to make a withdrawal. If someone steals your debit card or your credit card, they cannot withdraw money without that PIN code. That is exactly how two-factor authentication is. It's a second layer of protection that protects your online accounts. I know you might be thinking, my password is strong enough. Why do I need this extra step? Now, let me share some statistics with you. In 2023 alone, over 4 billion passwords were leaked online. Even strong passwords can be stolen in data breaches. Research has shown that most people use the same password for multiple accounts. And unfortunately, hackers are getting better at guessing our passwords. That is why we need this extra layer of protection. It's like having a backup plan when our passwords are no longer enough to protect our most important accounts online. Benefits of two-factor authentication. It greatly lowers the risk of unauthorized access to your accounts. It adds strong defenses against common attacks used by cyber criminals. It gives you peace of mind knowing your sensitive information is safer. Now let's break down the main types of two-factor authentication. They're actually called multi-factor authentication because we sometimes we lose more than two factors. Starting with the most common, the text message. First is the code that comes via text message. Your bank or an email service will send you a code via phone. Pretty simple, it works because only you have access to that phone. You put in the code after entering your password and voila, you have access to your accounts. Next step are the authentication apps. They are actually considered more secure than the text message because they generate a new code every 30 seconds right within your phone, no internet access needed. And this app includes Google Chrome and Microsoft Authenticator apps. It can be downloaded from the relevant app store onto your phone, and then you can use them to generate a new code every 30 seconds on your phone. No internet access needed. And next we have the security key. Think of this as a digital key which you carry on your keychain. They're actually considered more secure than all other forms of two-factor authentication, but they're a bit more advanced. We'll cover this in another video. Now let's set up two-factor authentication together. We're going to do this using a Google account because most people do have a Google account. How to set up two-factor authentication on your Google account. First, go to your Google account settings and click on security on the left sidebar. Next, scroll down to two-step verification and click on it. It should read two-step verification turned off. Next, click on two-step verification Click done. Next, let's tackle the most common questions I get about two-factor authentication. Next, what if I lose my phone? Great question. This is why we set up backup methods. Let me show you how to set up backup codes. Backup codes are a final way to get back into your account if other two-factor options don't work 
or if you lose your phone and can't receive a text message or use an authenticator app. You can find backup codes in your account settings and save them somewhere safe by printing them or storing them digitally. How to set up backup codes. First, go to your Google account settings and click security at the left sidebar. Next, scroll down and click two-step verification. Google will ask for your password, enter it and click next. Next, scroll down to backup codes and click get backup codes. Next, click get backup codes again and the new codes are generated for you. Will I need to do this every time? Usually the answer is no. Most services let you mark your personal device as trusted. You will only need those code on a new device or after logging out from your current device. What about if I'm traveling? Make sure to set up two-factor authentication before you leave home and be sure to carry those codes. They work without internet access. Now that you have learned all about two-factor authentication, Next, here are your must-do safety steps. Set up two-factor on all important accounts, banks, email, social media. Create and store backup codes. Use an authentication app when possible. Keep your recovery phone number updated. Never share your two-factor codes with anyone, even if they claim to be from your bank. By following these steps, you are strengthening your defenses and reducing the risk of cybercrime. Note, when it comes to online security, it's better to be safe than sorry. If you found this video helpful, please hit that like button and subscribe for more simple security tips. I create new videos every week that makes online security easy to understand. Quick question for the comment section. What is the one account you are most worried about protecting? Drop it in the comment section below and I will share some simple security tips about how to protect your activities on that platform. Thank you for watching this video. Stay safe online and I'll see you in the next video. Cyber Safety Simplified, bringing you insights, tips and tricks to keep you safe online, at work and at home.